I just found my new favorite snack. They are these peanut filled pretzels and they're really good. Yeah. It's a little hard to see, but. Not me all up in this man's business, <laughs> but I love travel trinkets. Oh, this one's cute. You know a city is small though, <laughs> when even the Airbnb host is like, uh, I don't know what you're doing here, but have fun. <laughs> like, oh, yo, it feels so, look at this view. I'm here for five days or nights or whatever. And then I gotta go book the other Airbnbs I'll see in the like, The host is so phenomenal. I might just extend here, but I also wanna see the other Airbnb apartments. That was part of the reason why I wanted to show y'all. We'll see. Also, I'm not going to say anything. It's not up for me to decide, but like, and it's not like I expected him to pick it up, but I'm assuming, uh, I'm wondering the meaning behind this candy. Like, I know it says what it says, but like, I'm, uh, um, you know what? We're not going to get into it because it's, <laughs> it's like to be offended or not be offended type of thing. Oh, I got to go look at the origin of it. I don't know. Because I also need black and Spanish, so I don't know. I'm not trying to offend nobody. I'm just not trying to assume either last thing y'all the guy i met on the bus who was really really cool we talked about the fact that he said he stopped posting and deleted his accounts i turned my social media account into a work account and just made a spam and just had my spam be for close friends and family but he said he could feel the envy too i know i'm not crazy there's just a jealousy and like he said it perfectly it's like i'm doing the same thing i'm just traveling with it but like trust me if you actually look at how much money you spend at home and whatever else and you might have the ability to travel just consider it you never know i don't be spending that much like i really don't these airbnbs are a little bit more than a hostel that's because i'm in a cheap country who you know is going to montenegro that's why i came i looked it up i was like it's safe it's affordable black girl vlog in montenegro maybe encourage some other people to go hopefully not too much so tiktok don't make it touristy and the prices go up okay hopefully not too much but enough to encourage y'all to go to some places that aren't you know, uh, no offense, but Paris, London, Amsterdam, you know, the big ones. And the big ones are still great, but I don't know. Over the years, I started wanting to go just to the biggest cities, post, show off what I showed off. Now I'm really, I feel like I'm traveling. I feel like I'm actually traveling. I'm in this for me and me only. I'll post when I post, whatever. You know, I'm gonna still do it for work, but like, I really feel like I'm in this for me. Like, I just wanna see what I wanna see. Recently, I've also had this overwhelming urge to be on a farm. <laughs> like a nice safe farm i was telling him as well i've been seeing all these like cow tiktoks and the cows look so sweet now i just want to go work on a farm for like i don't know like a week or something and then like leave but like i don't know i just i'm in, i'm really in it for experience points i've been told y'all that like i just want to live i just want to live man but yeah that's all for real this time i'm about to get to it get to it oh my gosh my thighs hurt so bad y'all the brownie took my ass oh Oh. <laughs> These are nice cups. We ain't touching those. Also, I gotta respect the Airbnb hustle. I still can't believe he picked me up from the bus station and left me snacks and drinks. That's the best thing. I came up with that bus hungry. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not gonna use everything, but I will take a thing or two since it's offered. All right, y'all, we got something new. So I'm learning new things every day. I could pull it and then you like, oh, you hold this to release it. It kind of looks like a tape measure. Also, y'all, OF did come up because he was talking about another girl he met and she was sharing her information. I was like, oh, he mentioned it. I was like, all right, since you're open to it, we got a traditional man who was born in a small town and he don't give not one fuck about the OF. He's like, I don't judge. And imagine if everybody lived their life like that. Imagine. Imagine. I'm not saying you gotta date me. I'm not saying you gotta marry me. I'm not saying you have to have my kiss. I'm just saying it'd be a beautiful world that everybody just minded their business on how people lived and let people live. Anyways, I'm freshening up. <gasps> Ooh. Great, great intro. I was calling it Pop Tropica. Let me stop because I'm not trying to be offensive. But Pod, 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 Pod Garica. Great start so far, and the water's hot. 
your girl over here boiling herself like a crap. I'm about to get cute because we look a little rough. Let her know rough as usual. My self defense mechanism for nobody follows me. All right, don't let them know you a bad bitch. I mean, you can, but it works for me until I'm comfortable. So. <laughs> I'm about to lay down and take a nap. I'm so tired. This smells like fresh laundry or like fabric softener. It's so good. <laughs> I'm just sitting here. I sat here for an hour, did nothing. It was heavenly. Forgot to mention also there was passport control. We got off the bus twice and back on it in order to leave Croatia and enter Montenegro just like you would at the airport. So anticipate that. And yeah, I'm about to take a nap and then we'll go downstairs. There's a food place a minute away. I'm gonna wake up and eat. I'm gonna take a little nap because I'm tired.